Okay, welcome to my tutorial on remaking my Padme parade gown wig. I wasn't really happy with it the first time because it has these six great big loops on the hair and I originally just did a ponytail and just divide it into six and then used about 50 hair grips just to hold the loops in place and I couldn't even get them that big. So I had another thought and this is what I'm going to attempt. First of all, I got this uh, garden flower holder ring and um, as you can see I've put six spokes on and I had to because of the spacing of the loops on the hair um, I had to cut the outside ring off because this was all continuous so I just cut that as you can see <laughs> a bit difficult to explain but just bear with me and uh, hot glued some more spokes on there using cocktail sticks and my dad drilled a hole just there in the ring as you can see where my finger is try and poke these um, new spokes through for me now what I'm going to do next is wrap some bubble wrap around these so I'll just go away and do that now and I'll be back in a moment ok just a quick show so far to show you I'm basically doing, I have my spokes and I'm just wrapping a bit of uh, padding around each spoke and then just using some clear tape just to hold the ends down as so ok, I've now completely covered my spokes and now I'm going to go and wrap bubble wrap around the T ends here they're shaped like a T Okay, I've now finished wrapping my ring with the bubble wrap. Putting bubble wrap all around the spokes and all around the ends. As you can see. Here we go. Okay, the next thing to do is to get yourself um, some of those black stretchy tights like so and you need to cut a section of the tights like so that will be long enough to stretch over the each one of these spokes Ok, as you can see here, I pulled my little sock over my bubble wrap spoke and then I secure it with an elastic band and I might just stick the ends down there with some tape and I'm going to do that for the remaining five rings Ok, I've now completely covered my ring with my black socks Choose a dark colour so it matches the hair, so if you have any hair, any gaps in the loops, then um, hopefully it won't be so obvious. There we go, right, on to the next stage. Right here I have some uh, spare hair I've cut off for another wig. And I'm just going to take a small section and wedge the end in under that elastic band so it holds it and then mould it over the loop itself and I shall do that again for all the remaining six ok this is my wig I bought on ebay called the diver wig and I bought it in a light chestnut brown It's very long, it goes nearly down to the floor, which you will need. The next thing I'm going to do is pull hair or backwards into a pony because there's such a lot of hair, you only two pairs of hands of this because I had to wind the hair bubble round whilst um, somebody else pulled the hair through, hence there being a lot of hair. I 
always find starting synthetic wigs extremely difficult and especially brushing because as soon as you start to brush it even if you go from the bottom upwards to the top as carefully as you can it just frizzes so this really isn't my favourite part personally and it's really hard trying to brush all the hair backwards so it's actually taken me about uh, half an hour to get this right and do it really carefully this is probably the best I'm, I'm going to get it now the next part bear with me right, is to get yourself um, a strand of hair and make a plait um, you'll see why in a minute but again this sort of make it as long as the you know as long as the length you've got at the moment on your wig and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a second okay I've now got my plait here and I've tucked it underneath where the hair bobble is and just sewn it in with a bit of thread so that it stays there like so and again just bear with me it'll make sense in a minute hopefully okay you're now going to take your hair ring and you're going to pass the hair through that loop in the middle which is easier said than done I'm going to have to have two pairs of hands for this. <laughs> okay, we've now pulled our hair through that ring. Now what I'm going to do is get this plait and I'm going to wind it round and I might do it underneath. Round like so, so it anchors that onto the back of the hair there. And I'll do that all the way around, weave it in and out of this loop. And then I'm going to get some thread and try and catch it and actually hold this, sew this onto the wig. But this should just give it some extra strength so it holds it in place. Okay, I've now, and you can just see it round my plait in and out of all the loops. This was some black tape I put on earlier to try and hold the socks down because... I just thought it might help. But I've weaved that in and out several times and anchored that to the back of the head. But I'm still going to get some thread and just keep weaving in and out and in and out till it's really strong and it'll hold. Because at the moment it's a little bit weighty and it, at the top it keeps wanting to come back a little bit. But it seems to be working out okay at the moment. So you get the general idea of it. I've just got to centre it a bit better. idea as I say it's just anchoring this wheel on so it's nice and strong and once I've done that I'll show you the next bit okay I've skipped along a little bit here but as before I had my pony what I did is split it into six sections and then I had to sort of loop the hair around top and then behind do that for each one like so and these strands of hair left over I just plaited and weaved it in and out at the back here sewed it in place and sometimes I use some hair grips okay and I anchored my wheel on and uh, tried to secure this as best I can to the back of the head uh, I had some excess hair at the bottom so I just did one big plait and then around again I just wound it in and out like so next thing I need to do is get this uh, shiny silver foil which was from some um, Sorry, just from some Christmas um, wrapping bows. 
these little bows that you have for Christmas. You can use some foil if you want to. Yeah, I'm just going to tie this around because at the moment you can see like the elastic bands in place and then I'm just going to tie it around the elastic bands so that you can't see those. And it'll be finished. Okay. I put my silver ribbon around the elastic band so it hides them. It's looking a lot better than my first attempt. So if there's anybody out there who actually knows how it's done, can they please contact me? I'd really appreciate it. <laughs>